Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia. And today we're going to talk about some of the editing tools in Avid Pro Tools. First of all, we've talked briefly before about the basic tools. That's the zoomer, trimmer, selector, grabber, scrubber, and pencil tool. However, notice that there are little triangles beneath some of these tools that actually tell you that there are other tools available as well. So you click and hold, and now you can see a little pop-up that shows you what are the alternates that are available. So here we have a couple on the grabber. We have some on the pencil, we have some. So let's go through these. First of all, Zoomer, as uh, most of you probably know, once you select that, you just select a little area and it zooms in just to show that area. You can also click to zoom in then hold Alt or Option to zoom out. However, what if you only want to do one zoom and then go back to the tool you had before? Well, you just click single zoom, zoom, and then we're back. In this case, to the pencil, which was the last selected edit tool before we went to the zoomer. Moving on, let's check out the trim tool. So we all are familiar with the standard trimmer, which lets you trim in or out on the waveform of the clip that you happen to be editing. That's the regular trim. We also have TCE, which stands for Time Compression Expansion. And what this does is lets you actually slow down or speed up the audio or make it happen in a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time, depending on what you're doing. For example, a 30 second commercial. So with the Time Compression Expansion Zoomer, we would drag out and you can see it actually made it longer and slower. If we drag in, the clip becomes shorter and faster. We also have the loop trimmer, which automatically turns any clip you're using that you've selected into a loopable clip. So I'm just constantly looping over and over and over again here. And you can tell where the loop starts and ends by these little loop symbols. Then we have the grabber. Standard grabber is called time grabber, which most of you are going to be familiar with. We have the separation grabber and we'll use it with the smart tool. Select a bit with the selector, then you can just simply grab it out without having to do a separate clip function, meaning we cut the audio and then move it. So we can just grab it and move it away. Then we have object grabber, and this is how it works. If I happen to have made some separations here and I want to select them, just those that I've made uh, with regular grabber, you really can't do that. You have to select everything in between. However, with the object grabber, now you can click one, hold shift, and click just the ones you want to move those to another place on the timeline. Finally, we'll talk about the pencil tool. So we have a lot of different options here. And what I will do is we'll go into a automation view. We'll use volume. The pencil tool here lets you simply draw in manually by hand any automation moves you want to make. You also have the line tool if you need to make an exact straight line with your automation. We've got triangle, which is useful for pan automation. And this is linked to the grid setting you happen to have. So if we're on 16th note and we change that to half note, you can see the triangles get further apart. We have the square which just simply draws in square type shapes. Again, linked to whatever grid setting you have, whether it's half note, quarter note, eighth note, 16th note. And we have a couple here that actually have to do with tempo changes. So we'll show our tempo ruler fully expanded. Here we've got parabolic, which lets you draw in tempo changes, as well as an S curve. So these are some of the more advanced or alternative edit tools that are available in Avid Pro Tools. And really anyone who uses Pro Tools on a regular basis should take advantage of them as they are very useful and help address a lot of different editing situations. So thanks for checking out the video. This is Jeff from Obedia.